Welcome to Things You Should Know, Civil War Edition. Today we're going to talk about the Battle of Tranters Creek, located in Pitt County, North Carolina, on June 5th, 1862. Union Major General Ambrose E. Burnside continued his march through North Carolina. On June 5th, the Union Garrison Commander, Colonel Robert Potter, was in charge of an outpost in Washington, North Carolina, ordered the 24th Massachusetts, under Union Lieutenant Colonel F.A. Osborne, to investigate the town of Pactolus, 12 miles away. Osborne and his men continued forward, and about three miles from the town, they came across a bridge over Tranters Creek and encountered the Confederate 44th North Carolina, under the command of Colonel George Singletary, which was comprised of about 400 Confederate soldiers. Osborne attempted to cross the creek, but found he could not budge Singletary and his men, who had hidden inside an old mill on the other side of the river. Osborne's men were pinned down on the bridge and on their side of the river by the Confederates and unable to move. Realizing he couldn't do anything, Osborne called up his artillery, comprised of companies A through G of the 1st New York Marine Artillery, and opened fire on the Confederates. The resulting bombardment killed Colonel Singletary and caused the Confederate 44th North Carolina Infantry to retreat. Instead of pursuing the Confederate soldiers, Osborne returned to report the situation to Colonel Robert Potter. The total casualties combined for both sides was approximately 40 men, and unfortunately none of the sources I had could break it down between sides. Please join us next time on Things You Should Know, Civil War Edition.